Hey everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. Labor Day's passed, so our, our attention starts turning a little more towards harvest and when's harvest gonna be ready here. So I'm getting a few more phone calls about soybeans. So in particular, we're seeing some different colors out there. We've got some yellow areas, got some brown areas. And the real question is, hey, is it disease? Is there something I should have done differently here? Is it maturity? Can't be all of the above based on what I'm seeing here. But first things first, let's go down over the easy one. You go out there and you start seeing yellow leaves like this. Nice uniform yellowish color. That's likely maturity. You know, in our group, group late group twos, early group threes, several of those beans are starting to get some color to them. We're starting to see some color change, just showing maturity, you know. So wouldn't be out of the question that, you know, two and a half, three weeks, we might see some combines ready to roll, especially if we keep the kind of heat we've got right now. So hot weather kind of pushes these things along. Uniform yellow leaves, that could be maturity on some of these beans. Number two. One of the bigger questions I've been getting now is brownish spots in between the veins, kind of along the veins. Another example right there, kind of see that. Yet another one right here, several different spots. This is a relatively new virus called soybean vein necrosis virus. This, this virus is transmitted by little insects called thrips. Really, really, really small but they have a kind of a piercing mouthpiece. So they come on here, they're, they're normally feeding in the, uh, in the grass waterways, on the ditches, things like that. So typically this is a condition you see move in from the edge of the field into the field from that pattern. These little suckers, they can, they can jump a long way. So you might find them out in the field further. What happens is they'll feed on an infected plant or an infected weed in the ditch, things like that. We're still big and new disease. We don't have all the alternate hosts figured out yet to know exactly where the virus resides in the off season here. But you get an infected plant, a thrips goes over here, feeds on this, jumps over here to the next plant, takes another bite, part of its saliva brings that virus back in with it, so you see it spread. You know, there have been studies to date that kind of say that, that, that the, the rule of thumb is this isn't a major yield limiting factor. But I think as we all know, the more green leaf area we lose late in the season here, it's going to affect seed size, um, pod fill, those kind of things too. So not what we like to see. Really, being a virus, we can't spray a fungicide to kill a virus. The best way to manage this is spraying insecticides to kill the thrips, the insect itself that's, that's spreading this disease. So if conditions are bad enough, hot and dry weather also makes this disease much worse, makes it spread more. So, you know, we've been pretty hot, been fairly dry too. So that's why we're seeing a little more of this disease um, showing up here more recently here. So soybean vein necrosis virus. Stay tuned on that one. Last one here, we get some kind of yellowish plants, maybe some yellowing in between the veins here, and questions coming up, are we finding sudden death? Um, short answer is yes. You know, we plant a lot of soybeans into some pretty cool conditions this spring. So finding some spots out there, some pockets that have some sudden death, isn't surprising, especially if those fields have a history of sudden death out there. So what do we do? First things first, take out your pocket. Find the right plant, plant of concern, take your pocket knife and split the, the root crown right here. This looks pretty white, pretty healthy. This, I believe, is a lot more just maturity. These beans are starting to turn, maybe a little bit of soybean vein necrosis virus as well, but this to me is not a sign of getting choked off from sudden death, from brown stem rot, from the red crown rot I, I shared earlier. So lots of things going on right now. Biggest point. If you have shorter season beans, or double, sorry, if you have full season beans that aren't mature yet, or double crop beans, scout those fields. Insect pressure is fairly high. Spraying with an insecticide here, even fairly later in the season here, can very likely be economically viable if we start finding areas like this where we're losing leaf area. Or we've got spots where that soybean vein necrosis virus is continuing to spread, further limiting our green leaf area. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let us know.